Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to our examiners. Today we want to present our final project. Our title of the project is a analysis of MM1 and MD1 queuing system for traffic flows. Before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Ahmad Zul Hilmi bin Muhammad Nordin and our supervisor is a Muhammad Najir bin Tukacil. Okay, there are our presentation outlines. Okay, for the abstract, we are focused on MM1 and MD1 queuing model. And the main focus is to identify the best queuing model that can be applied in the system. And the main objective is to determine average number of vehicles in the system, average waiting time in the system, average number of vehicles in the queue, and average waiting time in the queue. And we also want to compare the MM1 and MD1 queuing model based on the waiting time and the number of vehicles. For the introduction, the queuing theory is the study of waiting lines in mathematics. The advancements in technology, the queuing theory become very useful especially at the traffic light system. Moreover, it is used to increase efficiency, quickly attainable and adaptable as well as economic service operation. And besides that, the waiting for the services is a part of our life because we have to wait the, for the facilities whatever we do. And the queuing system also help to increase the satisfaction level and improve the customer rate. Okay. For the problem statement, the increase of number of vehicles lead to congestion especially during peak hour. And we are use the queuing system of MM1 and MD1 queuing model to identify the problem. And we also want to compare both queuing system which one can reduce the waiting time. For the objective, we want to determine average number of vehicles in the system, average number of vehicles in the queue, average waiting time in the system, and average waiting time in the queue. And we also want to compare the MM1 and MD1 queuing system based on the waiting time and the number of vehicles that pass through the traffic lights. And for the scope and limitation, we are focused at area surmountry. And the MM1 MD1 queuing model are used for this project. And the data was collected are service times, arrival times, waiting times in the queue line, and the number of vehicles that pass through the traffic lights. Okay, for the background theory, the theory one, Agner Krab Kru Elang came up with a formulation known as Elang's formula from the outcome of his analysis. For the theory two, Agner Krab Kru Elang and Thor Elas Engset are the real founder of the queuing theory. The theory 3, Agnes Krapkur Elang also published the MD1 model and built from the MD1 model pattern. And for the last but not least, for the theory 4, the MD1 is the system where the arrivals are determined by poison process and service times are fixed. And the MM1 is single server and service times are exponentially distributed. My name is Siti Ruziana Binti Atim. Next, I will explain about the literature review. So, before we start our project, we do some research from the previous study about the QA system and the model that we are using in this project, which is MM1 and MD1 Q model. So, here is some of the previous study, and here I want to highlight that from the previous study, there are several of characteristics of queue system, which is arrival pattern, service pattern, and the discipline of the queue. This statement stated by Parimala in 2008, Lumdai in 2017, and Kumar in 2015. In 2008, Parimala stated that queue discipline is the way customers are chosen to be served in the queue line. The most queue discipline in everyday life is first come first serve and last come first serve. In 2017, Lumdai stated that there are four types of queue discipline which is first in first out, first in last out, and serve in the order. In 2013, Anna stated that MM1 model referred to the negatively exponentially arrival and single service time. In 2011, Dharmawiya and Adi stated that MM1 can help to increase the quality of the service to all customers. It also can help to predict the customer coming and going in a day. In 2018, Altai stated that MD1 model was applied when the arrival rate is followed by the poison distribution while the service rate was followed by two constant service rate model. Next is methodology. Methodology is a step or technique in this research. First, we start with data collection. We collect the data at traffic district Senambantri based on the waiting time in the queue line, waiting time in the system, number of vehicle in the queue line and number of vehicle in the system. After that, we apply two type of queue system which is MM1 and MD1. The reason why we choose these two types because at the end of this project, we are going to compare these two models based on the waiting time in the queue line and number of vehicles in the system. After that, we will get the result based on the calculation from both models 
and we will do the validation by comparing these two models based on the waiting time in the queue line and number of vehicles in the system. So this is MM1Q model. MM1Q model is a single line and single server where the arrival and service time are exponentially distributed. So this is the equation that we are used and we have the probability on how busy the system, average number of vehicles in the queue line, average number of vehicles in the system, average waiting time in the system and average waiting time in the queue. And this is MD1Q model. MD1Q model also is a single line and single server where the service time are fixed. And this is the equation for MD1 model. We also have the probability on how busy the system, average number of vehicles in the queue line, average number of vehicles in the system, average waiting time in the system, and average waiting time in the queue. Next is result and discussion. The result will be discussed based on the objective of this project. First, to analyze the average number of vehicles in the system, average number of vehicles in the queue, average waiting time in the system, and average waiting time in the queue for morning and evening session. So here, we have the graph of average waiting time in the system and the graph of average number of vehicles in the system. So for MM1 model, we can see that they have the increasing average waiting time in the system and the increasing average number of vehicles in the system. But for MD1 model, they have the higher average waiting time in the system and lower average number of vehicles in the system. So for MD1 model, since they have the lower number of vehicles in the system, we can say that MD1 cannot help to solve the problem of traffic congestion since they cannot, they cannot serve the higher number of vehicles in the system. Next, we have the graph of average waiting time in the queue and the graph of average number of vehicles in the queue for morning session. So for MM1 model, we also can see that they have the increasing average waiting time in the queue and the increasing average number of vehicles in the queue. But for M1 model, they have a higher average waiting time in the queue but lower average number of vehicles in the queue. So for MD1 model, since they have the lower average number of vehicles in the queue, we can say that MD1 cannot serve the higher number of vehicles for each traffic. After that, we have the graph of average waiting time in the system and the graph of number of vehicles in the system for evening session. So for MD1 model, we can see that the curve for both models is quite similar. But for MD1 model, we can see that they have the increasing average waiting time in the system and the increasing average number of vehicles in the system. Due to the increasing average number of vehicles in the system for MM1 model, we can say that MM1 model can help to overcome the traffic congestion when people return from work during evening session and people will do, will do not feel rushing or stressing while waiting in the queue line. Next, we have the graph of average waiting time in the queue and the graph of average number of vehicles in the queue for evening session. So, for MD1 model, we, can, we also can see that the curve for both graphs is quite similar, but for MM1 model, we can see that they have the increasing average waiting time in the queue and the increasing average number of vehicles in the queue. Due to the increasing average number of vehicles in the queue, we can say that MM1 model can help to overcome the traffic congestion since they can serve the, the higher number of vehicles for each traffic. My name is Farah Dana Binti Haili. Before this, my friends have discussed first objective and now I'll be discussed second objective which is comparisons of MM1 and MD1 QA system based on the average waiting time and number of vehicles that pass through a traffic lights. I will be explained for my session. As you can see that it has a two group which is MM1 model and MD1 Q model. In mm one queue model, traffic 1 and 2 shows number of vehicles that pass through a traffic light is a lower rate than MD1 model. For MD1 model, as you can see that, the number of vehicles that pass through a traffic light is higher for all traffics. Both of MM1 and MD1 model has a lower of waiting time in the queue line. So, it can conclude that MD1 model is better than MM1 model because the lower of waiting time in the queue and higher number of vehicles that pass through a traffic lights. This is because the customer do not need to wait a longer time and the system also can serve the maximum number of vehicles. I will be explained for evening session as you can see that it has a two graph which is MM1 model and MD1Q model. In MM1 model shows number of vehicles that pass through a traffic light is increasing for each traffic rather than MD1 model. For MD1 model shows number of vehicles that pass through a traffic light is higher at a traffic 2 only while traffic 1, 
3 and 4 shows number of vehicles that pass through a traffic light is a lower. Both of MM1 and MD1 model has a lower operating time in the queue line. So, it can conclude that MM1 model is better than MD1 model because the patterns of the graph is increasing and more stable. If the patterns of the graph and is increasing and more stable, the traffic flows will rest smoothly without getting any problem, especially traffic connection problem. Next is our conclusions and recommendations. In conclusions, from the results above, it can be concluded that the MA1 QB model is better and suitable compared to MD1 model to achieve this objective. This is because MM1 model has lower average waiting time in the queue and higher number of vehicles that can pass through a traffic lights during peak hours. Our recommendations for the future is government should reduce a red light time and decreasing the frequency green light time so that many vehicles that can pass through a traffic light during peak hours without getting any problem, especially wasting time problem, and also can minimize the waiting time in the queue line. Other than that, the government should install the queue line sensitive traffic light so that more vehicles will be served and the traffic condition will be more controlled and maintained. Lastly, our recommendations, uh, governments and authorities should invest some money in maximizing the road capacity which is expanding the roadway so that traffic congestion in urban areas such as Seremban Tree District can be minimized. Next is our references. All these references are related in the slides. That's all for us. Thank you.